Chapter 3231 Your grandfather really spoils you, old Mrs. Wang was mad, but still called Zhang Quan again, but he refused to answer her call. How could uncle do that to us? Wang Xiangyang was also angry that Zhang Quan didn't want to help them. When old Mrs. Wang called again, Zhang Quan directly turned his phone off, which greatly angered old Mrs. Wang. However, old Mrs. Wang still needed Zhang Quan's help. So she decided to visit Zhang Quan at his home. Old Mrs. Wang wasn't seriously injured so she left the hospital yesterday. She wasn't agile, but she could still walk. Dot. What Leng Xiaoyao and Li Mushen had done in the circuit quickly became hot news. Chu Jianan and the others also heard about it. However, no one knew their names. They only heard that they were a beautiful young girl and a handsome young man in their twenties, so Chu Jianan and the others didn't realize that they were Leng Xiaoyao and Li Mushen. However, he subconsciously thought that it was possible because the ages and appearances matched Leng Xiaoyao and Li Mushen. He wondered whether Leng Xiaoyao was actually skilled at car racing. Nevertheless, Chu Jianan was very unhappy that Leng Xiaoyao became so outstanding. He had mixed emotions. He couldn't stop being attracted to such an impressive girl, but he still harbored grudges against her for humiliating him. He had the desire to either have her or ruin her. After meeting Leng Xiaoyao today, the desire grew stronger. Dot. Leng Xiaoyao and Li Mushen stayed at the circuit and ate with Si Yiki and the others. After the meal, Li Mushen drove Leng Xiaoyao home. On the way, Li Mushen received Mu Ying's call. Mu Ying said that they were carrying out a task and found a strange ancient building deep in the mountain. It was May. The weather had become warmer. Even if it wasn't hot, it shouldn't be cold. However, as soon as they got close to the ancient building, they felt extremely cold. Especially after they entered it, the temperature seemed to drop to below 5 degrees, making them all shake from the cold. In addition, it was the day and was very bright outside but it was dark inside the building. Besides, the yard of the ancient building contained many bones and looked creepy. None of them dared go in. They were so scared that they returned directly. Upon hearing that, Leng Xiaoyao, who was next to Li Mushen, was interested. Where is it? Can I go have a look? Mu Ying, on the other side of the phone, was struck dumb once he heard Leng Xiaoyao's voice. The next moment, he laughed and joked. Oh. I just left the capital city and you rushed to see Leng Xiaoyao in City Chang. Good for you. Nonsense. Li Mushen was displeased and immediately snapped at Mu Ying. Although it was the truth, he wouldn't admit it. It's true. Or did Leng Xiaoyao go to the capital city to see you? Mu Ying didn't believe it and was sure that Li Mushen had a lot of interest in Leng Xiaoyao. Where is the ancient building? Li Mushen asked. He didn't want to argue with Mu Ying. Mu Ying didn't continue AI there. It's in City Kin, deep into Kinjiao Mountain. I don't know its specific location, but if you want to come, I can take you there. You can also help me with it, haha. Ha. This task was slightly tricky, not only because this ancient building was creepy, but also because the whole Kinjiao Mountain was very strange. Therefore, they didn't dare to take action. Li Mushen turned to look at Leng Xiaoyao. When do you want to go? Right now. If there is a plane going to City Kin, we can leave right away, Leng Xiaoyao said. She couldn't wait to see the mountain. Without delay, she used her phone to search for plane tickets. Will your family let you go? Asked Li Mushen. He felt that Leng Cheng Yuan would be worried about her and might not allow her to go there. Don't worry, I can deal with it, Leng Xiaoyao said. Great. If so, Li Mushen didn't need to worry about her. After that, he said to Mu Ying, We'll book plane tickets right now. If everything goes well, we can meet tonight. Sure, see you then, Mu Ying replied. There are plane tickets to City Kin tonight. It'll take off in two hours, Leng Xiaoyao said a little excitedly. I'll book the plane tickets, Li Mushen said, doing it on the phone. No problem. Leng Xiaoyao didn't turn him down. She told Li Mushen her ID information. Then Li Mushen booked plane tickets to City Kin. After they decided to go to City Kin, Mu Yuan drove straight to the airport. 
because the circuit was near the suburb, they needed to spend about 50 minutes on the road. It wasn't bad for them to go to the airport right now. Leng Xiaoyao called Leng Cheng Yuan when they were halfway there. She said that she was traveling to City Kin with her classmates tonight and that they had already booked the plane tickets. Leng Cheng Yuan could do nothing about it since Leng Xiaoyao wouldn't tell him what she was doing till it was too late. He understood that he couldn't stop her so he could only remind her to be careful. Leng Cheng Yuan spoiled her because he loved her, but also because he had confidence in her. If she was just a weak girl, he wouldn't allow her to travel around no matter how much he loved her. Miss Leng, your grandfather really spoils you, Meng Fan said with a smile. It's mainly because he believes that I can protect myself, Leng Xiaoyao said. Right. Meng Fan couldn't deny it. Leng Xiaoya was so strong, there were few people who could hurt her. Currently it was about 7.30 pm. They would arrive at the airport at about 8.20 pm and the plane would take off at 9.30 pm. The flight was about an hour and 15 minutes, so they arrived at the airport of City Kin at about 11.20 pm. They spent 20 minutes leaving the airport. When they arrived, Mu Ying was already waiting for them outside the airport but he was alone. As soon as Leng Xiaoyao and the others arrived, they met Mu Ying and left by car. Do you want to go there right now or tomorrow morning? Asked Mu Ying. Right now, Leng Xiaoyao replied. Although Leng Xiaoyao answered the question, Li Mushen said nothing, so Mu Ying understood that Li Mushen agreed with Leng Xiaoyao, and he didn't bother to ask again. It didn't matter even if they took action at night. Instead, it might be more convenient. Are we enough, or do you need me to call more people? Asked Mu Ying. He was afraid that it might be inappropriate for his teammates to go but they might need more people to deal with it. We're enough, Li Mushen said. It was indeed inconvenient to take other people with. He trusted Mu Ying's teammates, but they were going to use their magical power so it was better to keep it a secret. Chapter 3232 The Strange Ancient Building Sure. Mu Ying agreed and drove straight to Kinjiao Mountain. Kinjiao Mountain was far from City Kin, so they didn't arrive until an hour later. When they reached the mountain, they had to walk. It wasn't difficult to climb Mount Kinjiao, but the road became more rugged the deeper they went. Nevertheless, it was still easy for them because Mu Ying and his teammates had only come once during the day, he lost his way at night and wasted some time on the road. As a result, it took them an hour where people usually took about 40 minutes. As they got closer, Leng Xiaoyao found the direction before them. Her senses could reach within 500 meters, so she noticed the ancient building when they reached about 500 meters from it. In the beginning, Mu Ying thought that Leng Xiaoyao pointed in the direction following her instincts, but unexpectedly they arrived a short while later. Mu Ying couldn't help but compliment Leng Xiaoyao. Leng Xiaoyao, you're really awesome. I agree with you, Leng Xiaoyao replied proudly, but no one thought that she was being narcissistic. Li Mushen didn't have magical senses yet, but he had acute senses so he had also sensed the evil power from about a hundred meters away. There was a strong evil power. When they reached the front of the ancient building, they even saw three ghosts floating above the roof. Only Leng Xiaoyao and Li Mushen could see them, but this was the first time that Li Mushen had ever seen ghosts. He was scared at first and felt extremely uncomfortable. He even felt a sharp pain in his head. He felt the sharp pain, not because he saw these ghosts but because this ancient building looked familiar to him. Why did he have that feeling? All three ghosts were male ferocious ghosts that were shining with a red glow. There were different levels of ghosts, namely grey-hearted ghosts, white shirt ghosts, yellow page ghosts, black shadow ghosts, ferocious ghosts, and green ghosts. Grey-hearted ghosts were the lowest level. They were mainly ghosts who were ready to be reincarnated after death and were waiting in line. Normally, people could see them and they didn't have much hatred nor were they reluctant to leave the mortal world. They weren't harmful to people. After grey-hearted ghosts were white shirt ghosts, yellow page ghosts, and so on. Ferocious ghosts contained a strong hatred. Most of them killed people whenever they saw one. Most of them did 
but not all of them. Green ghosts had an even stronger hatred than the ferocious ghosts. They were like ghosts with magical power. People who had done too many bad deeds or killed could be easily possessed by them. Upon seeing Lengxi Oiao and the others, those ghosts got excited. It seemed as if they couldn't wait to throw themselves at them, but unfortunately they couldn't leave the ancient building. They had abnormal reactions, but not because they wanted to hurt them. Instead it was because they felt they were familiar. At that moment, one of the ghosts opened its mouth and shocked Lengxi Oyao as well as Li Mushen head. It greeted Li Mushen, but why did it call Li Mushen head? Li Mushen was struck dumb. But Lengxi Oyao immediately thought of something. Lengxi Oyao had a guess that Li Mushen was reincarnated, so his previous incarnation must have something to do with these ghosts and this house. It seemed that they made the right decision to come here. You can wait outside. Brother Mushen and I will go inside, Leng Xioyao said. If she wanted to figure it out, she needed to go in to ask those ghosts for the reason. In that case, she couldn't let Mu Ying and the others go inside. Can we go with you? Mu Ying was slightly worried about them and himself. This place was very creepy. Even if he had carried out tasks at night for many years, he was still frightened. Are you scared? Li Mushen asked with slight disdain. That's ridiculous. I'm not scared at all. I'm just worried about your safety. It's not a big deal to stay outside. Mu Ying immediately denied it to save his face. Afterwards, Leng Xioyao and Li Mushen went inside. Once they were in the house, those ghosts floated to them. The one who called Li Mushen head earlier asked him excitedly, Head, you can see us. Right? It could feel that Li Mushen could see them. Li Mushen nodded and asked, Why do you call me head? Because you're the head. Head, we've waited for you for ten years. We finally met. The ghost said excitedly. Ten years. Li Mushen had a big frown because he didn't have any memories of them. He was struck dumb when they talked to him. He was only sixteen years old ten years ago. He clearly remembered that he stayed with the Li family in the capital city before 16 years old. He didn't have any abilities, so how could he have them as his subordinates? He didn't have any memories of them, but he somehow felt that these ghosts and this house were familiar. Leng Xioyao, however, believed it was a key clue, because Li Mushen completely changed after going through an accident 10 years ago. Even though Leng Xioyao had a guess, she still asked, 10 years ago. He was only 16 years old. How did he become your head? When Leng Xioyao opened her mouth, those ghosts were astonished. They thought that only Li Mushen could see them, but unexpectedly the girl could also see them. Anyway, if she could see them too, she must be different from other mortals. Because Leng Xioyao came with Li Mushen, the ghost was willing to answer her questions. Because the head's body isn't his original body. He only possessed it to stay alive. He used to be the head of Tanching Set, from country Donchu, and Gaiyun Land. His title is Immortal Linian. When was going through the tribulation during the Yuan Ying period, he was schemed against by Immortal Lingfing from the same sect, so he failed. The head had his tribulation right in this yard. We didn't protect him well. So immortal Lingfing succeeded. Because they believed that Li Mushen was their head, they were very honest. Afterwards, they knelt down before Li Mushen and asked him to punish them. Chapter 3233 Gaiyun Land. Hearing that, Li Mushen was shocked and had mixed emotions. His mind was in a mess. His body wasn't his original body, and was actually possessed by another person's soul. He used to be the head of Tanching Sect, from country Donchu. Gaiyun Land, Immortal Linian, Immortal Lingfing. Tribulation during the Yuan Ying period. Li Mushen was totally confused by all of this. Leng Xioyao, however, wasn't confused or shocked. She was merely a little surprised. Although the ghost seemed to clearly know Li Mushen's experience, she wasn't fully convinced. Therefore, she continued to ask. It's hard to say whether a man's soul can really possess another person's body. Why are you sure that he's your head? The head has a special body and his soul will never disappear no matter what incarnation. Even if he dies, the quality of his body stays. As for the reason why I'm sure that he's our head. We're all the head's henchmen. We've been raised by the head's blood, so we can sense him. The ghost said his voice filled with determination. Leng Oyao didn't know whether it was true but she was convinced to some extent when the ghost mentioned the quality of Li Mushen's body. Li Mushen, 
who was doubtful, had the same opinion. However, he had no memory of them at all, so he didn't know what to say. Head, we're sure that you're our head. The head has a special body. As long as you can control the power in your body, you'll get your memories back. When you reach a high level, we can return to Danqing Sect to pay Mortal Ling Fing back, the ghost said. Back to Danqing Sect? You can go back to Gaiyun Land? Leng Oyao asked curiously. When the ghost mentioned Gaiyun Land, she understood that they weren't talking about the planet they were on right now. Yes, we came here through a delivery formation in the backyard of this house. After the head failed, he used the delivery formation and moved us and the house over here. However, we have to break the formation at the backyard in order to use the delivery formation again. We can only freely go to the front yard. The backyard is locked by the formation. We can't go there. And if we want to return to Gaiyun land, the head must go back to the peak of the Yuan Ying period. Otherwise, it's meaningless. There are all kinds of masters in Gaiyun land. Cultivators in Yuan Ying period aren't common, but they are also not rare. Most importantly, Immoral Lingfing already reached the primary stage of the Yuan Ying period ten years ago. After ten years, he should be at the middle stage at least. Luckily the head has a special body. As long as you become a cultivator, it should be easy for you to regain your abilities within one or two years, the ghost explained. They had waited for ten years, so one or two more years didn't matter much. Li Mushen didn't have any memories so he didn't have much interest in revenge. However, he was curious about the land that this ghost mentioned. He wanted to pay it a visit. Is Gaiyun land very large? Asked Leng Oyao. She was very curious about Gaiyun land. Since it was a land and there were countries on it, it shouldn't be like the Alpha planet where only a small cultivation world existed. Of course, Gaiyun land is completely different from the current world. We admire the strong. There are four countries on land Gaiyun. They are named the East, the South, the West, and the North. In addition to the four countries, there are many other powerful families and sects. Each of them is as rich as an empire. Some are even more powerful than a country. Therefore, even the imperial family has to respect them said the ghost. Knowing that, Leng Oya was even more interested. Brother Mushen, after you regain your abilities, why don't we visit Gaiyun land? No problem. Li Mushen answered. Whether or not he was the head of Tanqing sect, he was interested in Gaiyun land, so he decided to visit it. If he was an ordinary man, he wouldn't do that, but he wasn't. Everyone had ambition. If he wasn't ambitious, he wouldn't have become so rich. However, he never did bad things to gain his power. He always relied on his own abilities, because the ghost couldn't sense any aura cultivation from Leng Oyao. it thought that Leng Oyao was an ordinary girl. After all, Leng Oyao wasn't Li Mushen. Li Mushen had a special body and could hide his aura and level. Once ordinary people's hearts exploded, they were bound to die. Leng Oyao smiled but said nothing. She directly summoned up some magical power in her palm, then hit a nearby stone fence. With a boom, the stone fence was broken to pieces. This time, those ghosts were shocked. To their surprise, this girl was a cultivator too. At that moment, they heard Mu Ying's worried voice. Ma Shen, what happened? They couldn't hear their conversation from outside, but the explosion was much louder, so they heard it. They wanted to rush inside, but were afraid of running into something they shouldn't mess with. Therefore, Mu Ying asked Li Ma Shen about the situation first. It's fine. You all can wait outside. Li Ma Shen replied. Fine. In that case, Mu Ying and the others didn't go inside. I wonder what's going on in there. I didn't hear a fight, just an explosion. Mu Ying soared worriedly. No matter what has happened, since our boss said it's fine, it should be fine, Mu Yuan said. Right. Meng Fan nodded. However, they were still worried. Leng Xiaoyao said. I'm a cultivator. Although I just built the foundation, I have the same experience as your head. I also failed once when I went through a tribulation. I was at the peak of the golden core stage back then, but I think it's enough for me to protect myself in Gaiyun land. Both Li Mushen and the ghosts were surprised. They didn't expect Leng Xiaoyao to have such an experience. However, thinking of Leng Xiaoyao's change, 
Li Mushen thought that she must have gone through that during that time. Even though there are all kinds of masters in Gaiyan land, they are mainly at the golden core stage. Not many of them can reach the Yuan Ying period, so you would have a position there, said the ghost. Then it asked confusedly, if you're a cultivator, why can't we sense any aura of cultivation from you? If Leng Xiaoyao just built her foundation, she shouldn't have the ability to hide her aura and level. Did Leng Xiaoyao really have a special body too? She could hide her air and level like Li Mushen. Chapter 3234 Obviously it's a scheme. Because I have a special body, no one can tell that I'm a cultivator when I don't use my magical power, Leng Xiaoyao said. She didn't know the details. She only found that out when she encountered an evil cultivator last time. The evil cultivator didn't sense that she was also a cultivator so she found that she could hide her level. That said, the ghost didn't ask more. After all, it should be a secret. Oh, we've talked a lot, but what are your names? Asked Leng Xiaoyao. Leng Xiaoyao talked most of the time and seemed more important than Li Mushen. However, Li Mushen's mind was in a mess right now. He couldn't understand what was going on all of a sudden, while Leng Xiaoyao was much more clear-headed. She also knew more about cultivators so it was easier for her to communicate with them. In addition, Li Mushen didn't care about it either. Instead, he felt lucky that Leng Xiaoya was here, otherwise he would be even more confused. Today, he learned more about Leng Xiaoyao's extraordinariness. Leng Xiaoyao turned out to be more special than he thought. Perhaps she still had more surprises that he didn't know about. My name is Leng Yan. This is Kai Feng and Liu Han. The ghost named Leng Yan introduced. Oh. Do many people know about this place? Asked Leng Xiaoyao. Some passers-by have noticed this place, but they were all scared away by the creepy yard. No one dared to come inside. Leng Yan said, but, we've never hurt anyone. What you said is very strange to me. If it's true, I'll talk to you about the details after getting my memories back. Li Mushen said. He couldn't remember anything right now so it was meaningless no matter how much they told him now. It would only be meaningful after he remembered everything. He didn't tell them that he felt that the ancient building was very familiar. Even if he believed them to some extent because of the familiar feeling, he wouldn't be honest with them until he had control of the situation. Sure. Leng Yan and the others answered. They understood that Li Mushen didn't have any memories about them so it was meaningless no matter how much they talked about things. Anyway. Li Mushen already learned what he should know. As for the other things, that relied on him remembering them. For example, the formation in the backyard and the delivery formation could only be opened by Li Mushen. Let's go. Li Mushen turned to look at Leng Xiaoyao. Afterwards, they turned around and left. Once they came out, Mu Ying and the others surrounded them. What happened just then? Asked Mu Ying. I was startled by a mouse and subconsciously hit at it but I only hit the stone fence. It broke, Leng Xiaoyao said. Oh, Mu Ying didn't doubt her reply. Ordinary people couldn't break a stone fence, but Leng Xiaoyao wasn't ordinary. So it was possible. Did you find anything? Asked Meng Fan. Not yet, but it's filled with evil power. There must be evil things inside, so it's very dangerous. Leng Xiaoyao said. Since Leng Xiaoyao and Li Mushen had observed the ancient building and found nothing, they didn't stay there and left at once. When will you go back? Asked Mu Ying. In fact, this task wasn't assigned to us, it was meant to be the Fe team. However, because they couldn't finish it even after a long time, the leader ordered us to help. We didn't care and were willing to help, but the Fe team seemed displeased when we came. They aren't being cooperative and asked us to act separately. We were following the suspects, but they alerted them right when we entered Mount Qinjiao. On the way, we found the ancient building. Because we were mad at the Fatim, we returned to the city center. Actually, we planned to catch the suspects to teach the Fatim a lesson, but I don't think it's important right now. We can just leave it to them, Mu Ying said. As a soldier, it was his duty to catch and prevent evil, but he had a temper too. There were grudges between his team and the Fatim, but he was still willing to help. However, the Fatim wasn't professional and took action before them due to being too competitive. It was impossible for him not to get angry. Mu Ying was very honest with Li Mushen and Leng Xiaoyao, 
because he believed that they would keep it a secret. All of a sudden, Leng Xiaoyao smiled mysteriously. Perhaps we can meet them tonight. Coincidentally, when Mu Ying brought it up, Leng Xiaoyao used her magical senses trying to find the foot team. A while later, she heard several extremely low voices. Given their conversation, she bet they were the suspects Mu Ying was looking for. What? Mu Ying was struck dumb for a second. He joked. Can you sense where they are right now? We can go and see, Leng Xiaoyao said, before walking towards the suspects. No one doubted Leng Xiaoyao's decision. Whether she really sensed them or was wrong, the fact that she found the ancient house with her senses proved her ability. They would see whether she was wrong. Even if she was wrong, they would just take it as exercise. I think it's a scheme that you were sent here, Li Mushen said confidently. It wasn't a secret in the military that Mu Ying's team didn't get along with the Fu team. However, their leader still assigned Mu Ying to help the Fu team in order to make them have conflicts. When the two teams took action together and Mu Ying's team caught the suspects, Fu team would be embarrassed. It would make them hate one another even more. However, if the Fu team caught the suspects, Mu Ying's team would be embarrassed. Only when they caught the suspects by working together would everyone be fine. However, obviously the Fu team didn't want to be cooperative. Right, it has something to do with the Shen family. Mu Ying suddenly was displeased. But it's an order. We can't disobey it, so I agreed. I also tried to work with them, but they refused. I don't care. After all, we don't care about fame as much as the Fe team does. The Shen family was one of the seven most powerful families in the capital city. It didn't get along with the Mu family and never missed any chances to make things difficult for the Mu family. Mu Ying was already used to it. Chapter 3235 Come to Catch You It was a little difficult to walk on the path here. Normally, people wouldn't come here. There were too many tree vines, so it was easy to stumble. Luckily, they had good night vision. With Li Mushen's guidance, they didn't stumble. Li Mushen walked at the front and Leng Xiaoyao told him the direction. After walking about 400 meters, Li Mushen sensed those people too. There seems to be a cliff ahead, Li Mushen said, though he wasn't very sure. Yes, it's a cliff. It's about 50 meters from us, Leng Xiaoyao said. Leng Xiaoyao sensed it early on but didn't say it aloud because it would be too unbelievable for Mu Ying and the others. 50 meters? How can you sense it already? Hearing that, Mu Ying and the others were extremely shocked. They couldn't notice it at all until they were close, because we're skilled. Leng Xiaoyao joked. However, she couldn't tell them the real reason. That's impressive, Mu Ying said. He agreed with her and didn't ask more because he knew what he should ask and what he shouldn't. As they got closer to the cliff, they took careful steps. When they were 30 meters away, Li Mushen told Mu Ying, Mu Yuan and Meng Fan to stop. Afterwards, he continued to go ahead with Leng Xiaoyao. Mu Ying and the others agreed and waited at the same place. However, they waited at the side every time and had to let Leng Xiaoyao and Li Mushen take action. So Mu Ying felt slightly frustrated. Leng Xiaoyao and Li Mushen were clearly aware of those people's location and made sure that they were the suspects Mu Ying and his team were looking for. They were at the edge of the cliff right now. There weren't many of them since there were only four people. Oh, boss, why didn't we run away overnight? One man asked in confusion. They must be searching the mountain right now. I don't want to run into them. This is a cliff. They would expect us to stay here, the man, who was called the boss, said confidently. Boss is right, although it's also dangerous to escape during the day, it's easier for us to notice and avoid them, another man said. They were right. They had already been targeted, but they didn't realize it yet. When Leng Xiaoyao and Li Mushen got close to them, they took action at once. Before those men could react, Leng Xiaoyao and Li Mushen reached them. Before they could even fight back, they were beaten to the ground. They had no chance to fight back. Who are you? asked the leader. He thought that they were sent by the military, but he rejected that after seeing that they were a man and a woman, who came to catch you, Leng Xiaoyao said with a smile. Why do you want to catch me? asked the leading man. Although he had a guess, he still wanted to figure it out. I don't know. You can ask them about it later. Leng Xiaoyao shouted to Mu Ying, Ying, 
you can come over now. Leng Xiaoyao directly called to Mu Ying because she sensed no other people in this area. She wasn't afraid that those men had helpers who would be alerted. Once Leng Xiaoyao shouted at them, Mu Ying and his team ran over. Mu Ying didn't think that Leng Xiaoyao and Li Mushen would really find those men. So he didn't realize that Leng Xiaoyao called him to catch them until he saw them on the ground. He was shocked. Damn, you're unbelievable. You caught them within such a short time. Can you see people from a thousand meters away? Mu Ying exclaimed. He said them, but he was mainly talking about Leng Xiaoyao. They only knew that Leng Xiaoyao had special abilities. They didn't know that Li Mushen wasn't an ordinary person either. However, even though they knew that Leng Xiaoyao had special abilities, they didn't know the details, so they were really amazed. We can't, but I have sharp senses. Leng Xiaoyao said jokingly. That's true. Mu Ying agreed. Although it still sounded a little unbelievable, he could only digest the news by himself. After a glance at Mu Ying, those men figured out the situation without asking more. They tried to struggle, but couldn't run away, so they had to accept the result. Along with the four suspects. There were two suitcases. Mu Ying went to open them. Both of the suitcases were filled with guns. Although Mu Ying came for these guns, he was still displeased when he saw them. When they left, each of them escorted one suspect, while Ling Xiaoyao carried the two suitcases. For ordinary people, the two suitcases were very heavy, but it couldn't be lighter for Ling Xiaoyao. They knew that Ling Xiaoyao was strong, so they let her do it. Otherwise, they wouldn't make a girl do something like that. This time, Leng Xiaoya walked at the front to lead them. With her help, they wasted no time on the road and quickly reached the foot of the mountain. There they had a nine-seat MPV, so it could accommodate them. Even if two more people wanted to squeeze in, it wouldn't be a problem. There were ropes in the car, so they tied the suspects up to stop them from struggling before getting into it. After they got in the car, they left. Mu Ying called his teammates and told them to meet him at a certain place. Mu Ying told them to rest in a hotel after he decided not to help the foot team. It was already 3 a.m. and they were asleep, but they would wake up the moment their phones rang. Hearing that the suspects were caught, they were astonished. However, knowing that Leng Xiaoyao and Li Mushen were there, they felt that it was normal. Because of Leng Xiaoyao and Li Mushen's help last time, they quickly caught the suspects. Now Leng Xiaoyao and Li Mushen had a very high status in their circle and were their idols. After calling his teammates, Mu Ying also called the team leader of the Fa team, Cheng Yiji. Even though he disliked them, they had the same target this time. Therefore, it was necessary for him to inform the Fa team. Cheng Yiji didn't want to answer Mu Ying's call, but he still picked it up after thinking for a while. Chapter 3236 Don't be so emotional. When Cheng Yiji heard that Mu Ying caught the suspects before him, he was shocked. At the same time, he was also embarrassed. He had planned to embarrass Mu Ying by catching the suspects first. But now the situation was the opposite. Because Mu Ying caught the suspects, he needed to meet him. Boss, did Mu Ying really catch those suspects? Cheng Yiji's teammate asked with uncertainty. He really couldn't accept it. He told me he did. Since he said that, he must have caught them, Cheng Yiji replied in a deep voice. Although he disliked Mu Ying, he understood that Mu Ying wouldn't joke with him about something like this. I didn't expect him to catch them before us. I'm afraid they'll be even prouder this time and will disdain us more, another teammate said. He was also unhappy because of the situation. Although they were all soldiers and had the same duties, they were indifferent teams, so they were unavoidably competitors. All of them wanted to win the honor. For a long time, Mu Ying's team had better skills and won more honors than them. So the Fa team hated them. They didn't know why their leader asked Mu Ying's team to help them when everyone knew that they didn't get along. Did the leader want to cause conflict between them? Cheng Yiji tried to figure out their leader's intention, but Mu Ying already knew who made it happen. In fact, the Fa team was dragged into trouble by Mu Ying this time. However, the Fa team wasn't completely innocent. Why was it the Fa team instead of other teams? It was because the Shen family didn't get along with the people behind the Fa team either. Therefore, Mu Ying didn't feel guilty. Mu Ying set the meeting place to be in a certain part of a suburb. Because of the special situation, they couldn't meet at the city center. Mu Ying's teammates arrive at the place first. About five minutes later, 
Cheng Yiji and his team came, but Miu Ying and the others were still absent. The Fa team thought that Miu Ying's team caught the suspects, but they didn't see them after coming. Where are Miu Ying and the suspects? Cheng Yiji asked in annoyance. They'll be here in a minute, Lim Miu said in a cold tone as well. After all, they disliked one another. Didn't you go catch those suspects with them? asked Cheng Yiji with a big frown. Did Miu Ying catch the suspects alone? He could do it alone? Not really. Lin Miu answered. He didn't mention Leng Xiaoyao and Li Mushen because he wasn't sure whether he could talk about them. Did Miu Ying really catch them alone? Does he have that ability? A member of the Fe team doubted. Or did he not catch the suspects and simply wanted to deceive us into coming here? Questioned another member of the Fe team. Since our leader said that he caught them. It means he did. We'll know the details after they come, Lin Mu said. That being the case, Cheng Yiji and his team said nothing else. At this time, they couldn't argue with the fireworks team because they believed Mu Ying's words. If Mu Ying didn't catch the suspects, they would see what they could do. They didn't wait for long before Mu Ying and the others arrived. Mu Ying had no intention of stealing the credit. So Leng Xiaoyao and Li Mushen came with him. Cheng Yiji recognized Li Mushen. He didn't know much about Li Mushen, but he had heard that two of Li Mushen's closest subordinates were very skilled. Therefore, he wasn't too surprised by the news that Mu Ying caught the suspects with him. Cheng Yiji knew Li Mushen, but some of the others didn't recognize him. As a result, they immediately criticized Mu Ying. Leader Mu. This is a task from the military. How could you carry it out with strangers? Don't you know the rules? Even if they guessed that there were probably several people with Mu Ying when he caught those suspects. He seized the chance to criticize Mu Ying because Mu Ying embarrassed their team. Cheng Yiji didn't stop him because he wanted to see how Mu Ying would reply. They are my friends. We went for a hike in the mountains, when we happened to run into the suspects and caught them. Mu Ying said in a flat tone. He didn't care about their criticisms. They couldn't take strangers to do tasks. However, if anyone assisted them in catching the suspects, they could win the honor and get a reward if they wanted it. Anyway, Li Mushen and the others didn't need it. You went for a hike in the mountains and saw them by chance. Do you think we're dumb? The man didn't believe it. You wanted to catch those suspects before us, so you turned to them for help. I don't think you're dumb. But you are idiots. I told you the truth, but you won't believe me and purposely misunderstand me. I don't think you're mentally sound. Mu Ying retorted. He was being honest, but they wouldn't believe him, so he was displeased. You. The man was mad, but Cheng Yiji interrupted him before he could continue. Shut up. The man was reluctant to stop, but he still obeyed Cheng Yiji's order. Then why did they go around in the mountains late at night? Cheng Yiji asked. He wasn't convinced by Mu Ying's reply, but he was less aggressive. They finished the task since the suspects were caught, but it wasn't their credit, so Cheng Yiji was unhappy about the involvement of Li Mushen and the others. It has nothing to do with you. Cheng Yiji, could you not be so emotional when you carry out tasks? Are you really dumb? Don't you know that we were all schemed against this time? My team was willing to help you no matter what grudges we have against one another, but you refused to be cooperative. Don't you know that you're digging your own grave by doing that? Mu Ying mocked. Cheng Yiji had skills, but he was reckless. You. Cheng Yiji was angry when Mu Ying lectured him, but he had to admit that Mu Ying was right. He refused to work with Mu Ying's team because he disliked them. But he ignored the consequences of doing that. His team wouldn't suffer any losses if they caught the suspects first. However, if Mu Ying's team did it before them, reality showed that Mu Ying's team caught the suspects before them. Chapter 3237 Fine, I can stop. The Fu team had pursued those suspects for several weeks. Mu Ying's team didn't come until this morning, but they quickly caught those suspects. It proved that the Fu team was incompetent. Although some of the Fu team wanted to argue over that, they didn't know what to say. After all, the fireworks team indeed promised to be cooperative, but they refused. In addition, Mu Ying quickly caught those suspects with the others which proved his skill. I didn't catch them alone this time. It was not done by my team either, so I won't argue with you. We can say that we caught them together. If you dislike my team, try to surpass us with your abilities, 
but for now we are working together. I hope you can be cooperative for the sake of this task. If it hadn't been for you, we could have caught those suspects this afternoon. It wouldn't have taken us so much time, Mu Ying said. Since this task was a trap, he wouldn't allow the mastermind to achieve his goal. The Fu team was surprised. Mu Ying was willing to say that they caught those suspects together. Are you seriously willing to say that we catch them together? Asked Cheng Yiji with uncertainty in his voice. Don't project your shortcomings on us. We're different from you. We never carry out tasks with emotions. Tasks are the most important thing in our eyes, and the next is honor. Mu Ying mocked. He embarrassed and angered the whole Fu team, but it was the truth. Therefore, the Fu team couldn't say anything about it even though they were displeased. Mu Ying didn't want to argue with them, so he said, All right, we caught them. You can take them back because his team wasn't the ones in charge of this task, and they only assisted the Fed team, they didn't need to escort those suspects together. Aren't you afraid that we'll say it was done by us? Asked Cheng Yiji. He wouldn't actually do that. Even if he did plan to, he wouldn't say anything to Mu Ying. You can try if you want to. Mu Ying sneered. He didn't care about it at all. If he had worries, he wouldn't have asked Cheng Yiji to take those suspects back. Moreover, he knew that Cheng Yiji wouldn't say that if he really wanted to do that. There was conflict between them, but it wasn't serious. Mu Ying trusted Cheng Yiji. Cheng Yiji was a little selfish, arrogant, and competitive, but he wouldn't return kindness with ingratitude. Cheng Yiji said nothing else. He took those men from Mu Ying and directly left. Li Mushen and the others stayed with Mu Ying and his team. After Cheng Yiji and his teammates left, Mu Ying talked to his team mates. All right, you can take three days off. Do whatever you want to do. Same rules as always, don't go too far and stay on standby. Normally, they could take a short vacation after finishing a task, but sometimes they had to get back to work if there was a sudden task. Yes, sir. Everyone was excited when they heard that they could have a few days off. I'm curious. How did you find those people? Lin Mu asked curiously. That was what everyone wanted to know. Therefore, as soon as Lin Mu asked that question, the other teammates looked at Mu Ying and the others curiously. They hoped that Mu Ying would tell them. Miss Leng found them. I did nothing from the beginning to the end. The credit should go to her, Mu Ying said. He didn't feel embarrassed even though he didn't catch the suspects. It wasn't his effort, so he wouldn't steal the credit. However, he couldn't tell them the details. So he immediately interrupted, All right, go now, we need to rest as well. Hearing that, the others dispersed, they wouldn't leave right now. It was late at night, so they were dressed in the hotel first. Before Li Mushen and the others came, Mu Ying had booked rooms for them, so they would directly go there. Where do you want to go next? Take me with you, Mu Ying said. He felt that it was more interesting to be with Li Mushen and the others. He didn't want to go with his teammates nor did he want to go back to the capital city. Where do you want to go? Li Mushen turned to ask Leng Xiao. Si Since we are here, we can enjoy ourselves for two more days. We can go home on Sunday night. No problem. Li Mushen said, we'll go wherever you want to. Ying can also tell us where it is good to go. You can choose. I'll see where we can go later, Leng Xiaoyao said. She was unfamiliar with City Kin, so she didn't know what places they could visit. Sure, Li Mushen said. Mushen, you're so considerate when you're with Leng Xiaoyao. Mu Ying joked. He was sure that there had to be something going on between them. Before Li Mushen said anything again, Leng Xiaoyao opened her mouth. I'm a girl. Should he care more about you than me? Hey, are you defending Mushen? Mu Ying said meaningfully. So, are you jealous? Leng Xiaoyao didn't deny it, but she showed no affection either. Nevertheless, Li Mushen's heart still skipped to beat. Why should I be envious? I'll only be envious of you when you're a couple. Mu Ying said. He deliberately said that in order to see how they would reply. Can't you be quiet for a while? Li Mushen said coldly. He thought that Mu Ying couldn't behave. Fine, I'll stop. Mu Ying gave in at once. If Li Mushen was really annoyed, he might be left behind. Anyway, they would be together for the next few days, so he had time to observe them. It was 4 a.m. when they got back to the hotel. Without delay, they went to their own rooms. Because they went to sleep late, 
Li Mushen told them to sleep more, they could meet for lunch before hanging out. In fact, even if they stayed up all night, it wouldn't be a problem. Li Mushen simply said that to let Leng Xiaoyao have some more sleep. Although Leng Xiaoyao wouldn't be affected even if she didn't sleep for a few nights, she preferred to have a good sleep if there was no need to stay up so late. Therefore, when Leng Xiaoyao woke up the next day, it was already 10 a.m. She surfed on the internet, looking for interesting places. Chapter 3238 Go to the Island of Bones Perhaps because of Leng Yan's words, Li Mushen had illusions and remembered something. After Li Mushen fell asleep, he had a few dreams. He dreamt about himself in a purple long robe, standing at the peak of a mountain while looking down at the cliffs hidden in clouds. The wind blew by and the front of his clothing blew up, revealing a sense of immortality. Afterwards, he stepped on a sword and flew in the air. Passing by a square, he saw a large crowd of people dancing with swords. They were dressed in purple clothes and looked like people in a costume drama. At that moment, Li Mushen suddenly woke up and couldn't sleep again. He didn't know whether it was just a dream or his lost memories. Dot. When Leng Xiaoya woke up the next day, it was already 10 a.m. She surfed on the internet, looking for interesting places. The place tourists had to visit was Qinhuang Palace. City Qin was the hometown of the founding emperor of the Qinchen dynasty in ancient times. Therefore, the emperor of the Qinchen dynasty ordered people to build a palace here. He would come back and stay there for 10 days to half a month every year or so. City Qin was also an important customs city. In addition to the famous Qinhuang Palace, there was a famous customs, Qin Customs. Qin Customs was built after the Qinchen dynasty was founded. Its emperor used it to guard the borders. There was a small island 50 kilometers away from Qin Customs. The small island was called Wangu Island. It was said that a nearby country wanted to attack City Qin under the leadership of the founding emperor. Unfortunately, they encountered a tsunami. Tens of thousands of soldiers on the island died on the spot. As a result, this island was always creepy and strange. Many people had tried to explore it, but they either died or didn't dare to go inside. It aroused Len Xiaoyao's interest, so when they met up, she told Li Mushen that she wanted to visit the Island of Bones. Len Xiaoyao, you really like strange places. You're extremely bold, Mu Ying said resignedly. He had heard of the Island of Bones before, but had never visited it. However, he felt that it was stranger than the ancient building. He was scared upon hearing its story. If you don't dare to go, you can wait for us in the hotel, Li Mushen said, showing his obvious disdain. He agreed with whatever Leng Xiaoya wanted to do. Knowing the story of the island, he felt interested too. Did I say I don't dare to go? I was just amazed by you. Mu Ying argued. If he went there alone, he wouldn't have the courage. However, with Leng Xiaoya and Li Mushen's presence, there was no reason for him to be timid. Therefore, they decided to set off after having lunch. They needed to go to the Island of Bones through the Kin Customs. There were speed boats for rent so they could sail with one. Kin Customs was one of the famous tourist attractions in City Kin, so there were many visitors. Once Li Mushen and the others showed up, they attracted a lot of attention. Everyone was impressed by their outstanding appearances. Along the way, no one came to strike up a conversation with them. However, when they finished renting a yacht and were about to sail, some people walked over to talk to them. They were two women who were about 24 years old. They were beautiful and sexy wearing casual clothes. Most importantly, they were obviously good at martial arts. Hi, handsome guys, nice to see you. Where are you going? Can we join? One woman asked. She was very outgoing and left a good first impression on them. No. Mu Yuan replied straightforwardly. Normally. There was no need for Li Mushen to reply when Mu Yuan and Meng Fan were there. Don't be so mean. I know a good and exciting place. Do you dare to go? The woman said, challenging them. Leng Xiaoyao guessed that they were going to the Island of Bones as well, so she said, an exciting place? I bet it must be the Island of Bones. The two women were struck dumb for a second. To their surprise, Leng Xiaoyao guessed it correctly right away. It was true that they were going to the Island of Bones, but they were still slightly scared. Therefore, they targeted Li Mushen and his friends after seeing that they weren't weak. Most importantly, 
they were extremely handsome, they were attracted to Li Mushen and the other men, so they didn't notice Leng Xiaoyao until she spoke. Once they noticed Leng Xiaoyao, they were stunned by her appearance. The woman who spoke to them was only amazed by Leng Xiaoyao's beauty, but the other woman was immediately jealous of Leng Xiaoyao. Leng Xiaoyao and the others saw their reactions, but didn't care. Yeah, we're going to the Island of Bones. Do you dare to go with us? Since they knew their purpose, the woman didn't bother to keep it a secret. At the same time, she didn't forget to challenge them. She did that because she wanted them to go with her. However, if Li Mushen and the others didn't want to go, she wouldn't force them to. After all, they had no right to do that. Well, we're heading to the Island of Bones too. Leng Xiaoyao smiled. The two women were excited and continued. Since we're going to the same place, let's go together. Whatever, we just coincidentally have the same destination. No one is following anyone else. Whatever we do, don't interfere, Leng Xiaoyao said. Of course. The woman answered. Leng Xiaoyao didn't turn them down. So Li Mushen and the others also agreed. They didn't care whether the two women were good people or not. If they were good people, they would allow them to follow them, but they wouldn't pay much attention to them. If they were malicious, they wouldn't hesitate to teach them a lesson. Miu Yuan and Meng Fan couldn't only drive cars, they could pilot planes and yachts as well. It wasn't a problem for them. After they took their yachts, the woman who was jealous of Leng Xiaoyao said acidly, one girl is going out alone with four men, she must be cheap, her tone was full of jealousy, because that was really what she thought, however, if she was with four men, she would think differently, chapter 3239 so what even if it's deliberate, Daya, the other woman, frowned, don't spread rumors before you know her, it's offensive, I'm not afraid, the woman said disdainfully, she said that because she had confidence, Musi, we're not in City High. Daya reminded her in a low voice, their families were influential in City High and ordinary people could do nothing to them, but this wasn't City High, so they couldn't do whatever they wanted. Fine. Lin Musi was unhappy, but she didn't say anything else. Although Leng Xiaoyao allowed the two women to go with them, she didn't bother to wait for them. Meng Fan sailed the yacht according to his abilities, so their speed was very fast. The two women were skilled too, so they weren't left too far behind. However, a while later, they fell farther and farther behind. The two women even wondered whether they were doing it on purpose. They must deliberately be doing this. Lin Musi was mad, so it was our decision to follow them. On the other hand, Dai Ya wasn't displeased, after all. They had decided to follow them. If there were only the two of them, they wouldn't dare to go to the Island of Bones if it was really as scary as it was said to be. Lin Musi was still unhappy. But we're girls. Shouldn't those men care about us? She had always been spoiled by men, so she couldn't accept that a man didn't care about her feelings, especially when she had an interest in them. As a result, she was very upset that they treated her like that. Musi, you should get rid of that bad habit or you'll cause trouble for yourself. Some men are willing to take care of women, but not every man will do the same. There is no relationship between us and them. Why should they care about your feelings? Do you think it's good if a strange man takes care of you at the first meeting? Daya lectured Lin Musi. She strongly disagreed with Lin Musi on many things, but she wouldn't bother to argue over that when it had nothing to do with her. This time, they went out together. She didn't want to be dragged into trouble by Lin Musi's behavior. Daya, I just said a simple sentence. Do you have to judge me like that? Aren't you my friend? Lin Musi was slightly displeased. Even if Daya was right, she didn't want Daya to criticize her for a group of strangers. I'll only say it once. It's up to you whether you listen to me or not. Anyway, it's you who has to bear the consequences of your own behavior but I have to tell you none of them are simple. You better stay quiet later. Don't fight with them or I won't help you. I don't want to end up in trouble, Daya warned. Although she sounded cold-blooded, it wasn't her duty to help Lin Musi. In addition, she had already reminded Lin Musi to behave herself. If Lin Musi refused to listen, she couldn't do anything about it. Daya, Lin Musi was angry. She wanted to argue, but didn't know what to say. Although she disliked Daya's words, she had to admit that Daya was right. Whether or not Lin Musi listened to her, Daya ignored her. Lin Musi was unhappy, 
But she didn't say anything else. Dai Ya and Lin Musi were far behind Leng Xiaoyao and the others, but the distance was not more than 50 meters. They could see Leng Xiaoyao and the others, so they wouldn't get lost. About 20 minutes later they arrived. There were many small islands outside Kin Customs. Some of them were developed into tourist attractions, but no boats dared to approach the Island of Bones. Once they came close, Leng Xiaoyao and Li Mushen sensed a strong evil power from the Island of Bones. It seemed that there were many ghosts on it. They wondered whether those ghosts would be worse than ferocious ghosts. Given their abilities, they could deal with several ferocious ghosts, but they would be no match if there were too many. Anyway, it wasn't easy to encounter ferocious ghosts, so they weren't too worried. Mu Ying and the others couldn't sense the evil power but they felt it becoming much colder all of a sudden. It was creepy and strange, especially since there was white mist covering the island, which added to the gloomy feeling. This place is really creepy. Mu Ying exclaimed. His body trembled a little. He wasn't frightened, it was just a natural reaction to the environment. I wonder if there are ghosts or monsters on this island. Leng Oya was very curious about it, but she wasn't nervous because of that. Instead, she hoped to see some. In order to improve her skills, she needed practice. It wasn't enough to absorb magical power. Practice was just as important as magical power. Just as a body was as indispensable as a soul, she had few chances to practice her skills because no one was a match for her except for Li Mushen. After all, she was a cultivator. I hope not. What if we can't defeat them if they really exist? Mu Ying said. Even if Leng Xiaoya wasn't an ordinary person, she might not be able to deal with monsters and ghosts if they really encountered them. He didn't disdain Leng Xiaoyao, but he had no idea about her abilities either. So be it. Leng Xiaoyao said calmly. Why aren't you afraid? Asked Mu Ying. Was Leng Xiaoyao strong enough to be not afraid of monsters and ghosts? Thinking of that, he asked. Aren't you afraid of monsters and ghosts? I'm not afraid of the weak ones, but I'm afraid of strong ones. Leng Xiaoyao admitted. However, she showed no fear. No one knew whether she was telling the truth. Suddenly, Mu Ying didn't know what to say. When the yacht stops, I'll draw a talisman for each of you in case you really encounter ghosts, Leng Xiaoyao said. Although Li Mushen and she could protect them from being attacked by ghosts, they could never be too careful. They might not have time to take care of Mu Ying and the others if they ran into strong ghosts. Thank you, Xiaoyao. Mu Ying answered at once, they would feel safe or with a talisman. Chapter 3240 Follow us if you don't know the direction. After the yacht Leng Xiaoyao and the others sailed and stopped by the shore, they didn't get out at once. Instead, they waited till Leng Xiaoyao finished drawing the talismans. Dai Ya and Lin Musi saw them ahead and thought that they were waiting for them. However, this place was really creepy and strange. Once they got close, they felt a cold wind and shivered. Luckily, there were more people with them, otherwise they would have given up right after they came. This place is so strange. Do we have to go inside? Asked Lin Musi, hesitating. If you don't want to go, you can wait in the yacht, Dai Ya said. Although she was a little scared too, she was already here and there were other people with her, so she wasn't too frightened. I don't want to be alone. Lin Musi refused at once. She would rather go inside along with the others than to be left alone. At least she would feel safe with a group of people. Right after Dai Ya and Lin Musi arrived, Leng Xiaoyao finished three talismans. She gave them to Mu Ying, Mu Yuan, and Meng Fan. Li Mushen was no longer an ordinary person, so average monsters and ghosts couldn't hurt him. Even though Li Mushen was only in the early stage of cultivation. The power in his body was waiting to explode. Once he could make full use of the power, he would be even stronger than Leng Xiaoyao. Shouldn't Mushen have one too? Mu Ying asked confusedly. Mu Yuan and Meng Fan also turned to look at Leng Xiaoyao with confusion. Although they understood that she must have done that for a reason, they still wanted to know why. I don't need it, Li Mushen said. Brother Mushen is different from you. Leng Xiaoyao put on a mysterious smile. But she didn't elaborate. Anyway, since she said that, it should be unnecessary for Li Mushen. Is Mushen like you now? Mu Ying asked curiously. Yes, but it's a secret for now, Leng Xiaoyao said. Mu Ying and the others were surprised. Were Li Mushen and Leng Xiaoyao really so different from them? Compared with Mu Ying, 
Miu Yuan and Meng Fan were less surprised, because they were aware of the secret. Nevertheless, no matter how curious Miu Yang and the others were, they didn't ask about it since Leng Xiaoyao said it was a secret. After that, they got off the yacht. Dai Yan and Lin Musi walked towards them. Hi, my name is Lin Musi. May I know your names? Lin Musi introduced herself politely, but she focused on Li Mushen the entire time. Honestly, Li Mushen and the others didn't care about their attitude at all. Li Mushen didn't give Lin Musi a glance. Miu Yang said nothing either. Only Miu Yuan replied. We're just strangers. I don't think it's necessary to know one another's name. Lin Musi was displeased because they embarrassed her so openly. Although it was Miu Yuan's reply. Li Mushen's attitude showed that he had no interest in her. As a result, Lin Musi was extremely embarrassed. Seeing that, Dai Ya immediately snapped at Lin Musi in case she said something unacceptable. Musi, come here. Although Dai Ya didn't want to lecture Lin Musi, she still reminded Lin Musi to behave. However, if Lin Musi still refused to listen, she wouldn't bother to stop her again. Lin Musi was reluctant to accept the result. But she still walked towards Dai Ya. Sorry, we won't bother you again, Dai Ya said. She wasn't displeased. After all, they were strangers, so they had no duty to treat them well. Leng Xiaoyao and the others said nothing. They directly turned around and walked onto the island, followed by Dai Ya and Lin Musi. The island was covered in rocks and dense forests, so the roads were very rugged. Leng Xiaoyao and the others walked slowly all the way. In fact, there was no need to rush and they were observing while walking. The island of Bones wasn't very large. According to the data, it was about 1.5 kilometers long and 7 to 800 meters wide, so Leng Xiaoyao's magical senses could cover one third of it at a time. She could also feel where the strongest evil power was. Without delay, Leng Xiaoyao led them to the place with the strongest evil power. Lin Musi was a little displeased when Leng Xiaoyao walked in front of them, but she said nothing after thinking for a while. Due to the strong evil power on the island of bones, there were many snakes, rats, and other small poisonous animals. Luckily, Leng Xiaoyao and the others had good eyesight, so they easily noticed the poisonous snakes and insects and forced them to stay away. Dai Ya and Lin Musi didn't have that ability. As a result, they touched the poisonous snakes and insects every once in a while. Fortunately, they weren't weak so they quickly got rid of them. These things are disgusting. Lin Musi was angry and disgusted. Even if she had been through a tough time before when she learned Kung Fu, she had never been in such a disgusting environment. Therefore, she regretted coming here. Tolerate it even though you're disgusted. And be more careful. Don't be injured by them, Dai Ya warned. Although she felt it was disgusting too, she decided to face it since she was already here. Left with no choice. Lin Musi had to tolerate it. Walking ahead, they didn't only see snakes and rats, they also saw many skeletons. It was so scary that Lin Musi vomited. Dai Ya, I think we should leave. I can't stand it any longer. Lin Musi couldn't tolerate it and wanted to leave. Dai Ya frowned. Do you know the direction? I. Lin Musi was struck dumb for a second. She had no idea where they should go. Without a guide, she wouldn't be able to leave because no one had visited this island for many years. There was no road. Besides, there was white mist all over the island, so they could only see things for meters around them. If you don't know the direction, just follow them. If we go back alone and get lost, we will be in trouble, Dai Ya said coldly. She didn't remember the route. Even if she did, she didn't dare to return with Lin Musi. Without Leng Xiaoyao and the others. She wouldn't have even dared to come here. Do you believe she knows the way? Lin Musi argued. She was talking about Leng Xiaoyao. If another person was their guide, she would say nothing. Unfortunately, it was Leng Xiaoyao. There were so many men with them. Why should a girl do that job? Why did these men allow her to? Lin Musi thought that Leng Xiaoyao wasn't a good person and was convinced that she was cheating these men. She was too good at making up rumors and held a strong bias against Leng Xiaoyao. 